Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. Was 2019 a good year? Or was it just a dumpster fire? I don't know, let's talk about it. <laughs> That's not a sentence, Anthe. Anthe, if you can't talk, how can you write? It was a program, Anthe. <laughs> Everybody's talking about their 2020 goals, and I I guess I should just join the bandwagon. Everybody else is doing it, right? We're filming in my room. You probably can hear Zelda chewing on her rawhide, but it is what it is. <laughs> I was going through some of my old conversations with my relative, and we talk almost every day. <laughs> there was a lot of messages to look through. I was just kind of going through to see, okay, what have I actually done the, during this year? Because I can't remember. <laughs> Nothing happened before like the beginning of September to my brain. So though, let's be real. If I didn't document all of November, November wouldn't have happened either. <laughs> I would not remember NaNoWriMo. Just saying. <laughs> it's all a blur by this point. I was like, huh. I actually wrote and edited out some of the sequel to Beyond the Luring Sky. I was kind of surprised. Like I had forgotten about that. I had forgotten I had gotten any writing done at the beginning of the year. <laughs> Who knew? And then apparently I had gotten a brand new story idea in the month of March. And I had gotten an... I knew I had gotten two new story ideas this year. But one was in March and one was in May. So I was like, oh, it hasn't been a complete useless year. <laughs> I'm mildly surprised. And quite pleased. <laughs> I thought it was a year that I didn't get much writing done because, you know, there's a lot of illness of all kinds going around. <laughs> Yay me. I'm happy and pleased. It wasn't a dumpster fire of a year. It could have been worse. It could have been worse, let me tell ya. But sometimes it feels like all the bad things happen at once and you forget that you've had good days. You forget you had some brain days where you felt like writing and you had the brain to do so. <laughs> a lot of times when I'm ill, I, I want to write, but I don't have the brain capacity to do so. And then there's those few times where I don't feel like writing or doing anything and it's bad. <laughs> so ugh. I have a lot of goals and wishes that I want, but sometimes I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish them because sometimes my brain is not like it used to be. <laughs> And I see it in my writing. I have seen a huge difference. I am not the same writer I was eight years ago. And I don't like that. And I don't know how to go back to that. And I don't know if I can go back to it. And I don't know if I should go back to it. I don't know if I'm a better me because my brain changed. All I know is it did change and now I'm stuck with it. So <laughs> I want to keep trying to be the best writer I can be. My writing seven years ago was a totally different, totally different writer. And the writing that I did that time, I love it. I have fond memories of it. And then I come and I look at my writing now and I see a huge difference and I, and I don't know how to get back to that one. I was a deeply emotional writer in that I could bring emotions out of you and I could pull emotions in uh through the characters and there was just it was it could be moving and i don't i don't feel that anymore <laughs> there is emotional block i that was the thing that i maybe prided myself on maybe i don't know if pride is the right word but i was very pleased that i could do that and I loved doing that and I loved reading my work when I did it. What I'm getting at about this not being able to see a clear picture in my mind. It used to not be that strong. I put it on the scale of one to 10, like a three maybe. I never saw my character's faces. I always had to think about what I wanted them to look like. And then I would have to draw it over and over again before I was like, okay, this is what they look like. And I've kind of done that with Kay and Sky from my book, Beyond the Luring Sky. That imagery in my head is just kind of more of a gray black scale in my mind. So I can tell that my brain has changed. There's kind of a Spartan feel to my writing now when it comes to emotions. At least that's how I feel. I don't know. My writing is tighter and I guess that's a good thing. 
but at the same time I'm missing that emotional eloquence. Right now we've got the emotional span of a teaspoon. <laughs> I don't know how to look into the future anymore. Uh, interesting phenomenon that I didn't realize, but I can't picture things in my mind very well. For instance, think of an apple. Can you bring up a clear picture in your mind of an apple? For me, it's not really there. I think in the past it might have been a little bit, little bit, but when I write, I never see my characters' faces. I can't imagine a world. So for me, there are certain things that I do so I can see my characters. And I've noticed that in my writing and I, I try to not do it too much. And because of this visual darkness in my mind, I can tell that this is translated over into my written word. I don't see as colorfully as I used to, so I, I don't know... I don't know how to fix that or how to do that, but it's just an interesting thing. Let me know in the comments what you experience when you read or write. Do you have a visual, deeply visual mind? Because apparently other people do and I had no idea. I can draw up memories of an apple, but I can't create an apple in my brain. So because of this dark, this blackness in my mind, I can't actually envision anything. I, I can't really envision what I want the future to be. So I'm just thinking, oh, two, 2020 goals, what should we do? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I just want to write. <laughs> can we just have some successful writing? Like, I don't. I don't have this visual thing to plan either. Like, I don't know how to plan videos. I know Friday's video because it's the first video of the year. I know what I want. We're going to get an AuthorTube newbie tag because finally, finally. But it has some good questions in that one, so I thought it would be good. I'm just going to have to work differently or harder to try to figure that stuff out. But it was just, it's just an interesting thing to talk about to know that that is what goes on in my brain. My brain! I want to make a video about how I write dialogue, but I used to be able to truly feel and, and envision in a way that's different than visual a scene, and, and it was always brought about with deep emotion and deep feeling. The more emotion that happens in the scene, the stronger I could feel it and I could write it. I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I don't know if it's gone forever, but I don't have it now, so I can't envision through deep emotions my scenes anymore. So that's another thing that sometimes it's harder for me to write because it's not it's not the same anymore. It doesn't have the same feeling anymore, so I, I don't know. But I do have some hopes and dreams for 2020. I, I would definitely love to finish a lot of writing. Like, it would be amazing if I could finish you know, a couple of books in the Mark Taros. There are 52 weeks in the year and I'm planning to publish a chapter per week. Patreon is at like chapter 18 or 19 now. I can't even, re I can't even remember. Oh my gosh. By the end of next year, I have to have 50 more chapters written and available to the public. So like 70 chapters is definitely a couple of books. So they gotta exist. I would like to finish my Harry Potter fanfiction soon. I'm just having a good time. I'm having a good time writing. I'm having a good time making videos. I love making videos. It's so much fun. I love YouTube. Like if I'm having a bad day, anything that's bad, and then I get all my videos into iMovie, editing my dumb face just makes me stupidly grin and smile like i don't know what it is but i'm like <laughs> like stupid laughing at myself i guarantee you while editing this i'm gonna be smiling and <laughs> i guarantee you while editing this i'm gonna be smiling and laughing and all the dumb stuff because it's hilarious another deep wish is to finish beyond the luring sky sequel book two because if I could finish that, that would be great. I've had a blockade on that for for a while now. There is 100,000 words in my document and I have a block. Like it's close to being finished. Like there's no real reason. Well, there's a real reason, but there's no, it's not like it's not almost written and almost complete. But let me tell you, 
Beyond the Learning Sky sat for a long time too. So Beyond the Learning Sky sat for years at its ending. I hope this is not a curse. <laughs> Please don't let this be a curse. I know what needs to happen at the end. I just don't know how much I need to reveal and what I don't want to reveal because well, I know the beginning of book three and I know the ending of book three and I know the beginning of book four. So like, But whatever I choose to reveal at the end of book two kind of sets everything up in a certain way and I don't know what I want and it's just like uh... that is my status that is 2020 my goals for 2020 is just to keep writing to keep going and 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 I haven't said this because I wasn't sure what I wanted to promise <laughs> I am making videos on Mondays and Fridays so I'm saying that now <laughs> Um, uploading a video every Monday and Friday. We'll see if, if the days stay like that, but I definitely want to upload videos twice a week. Definitely want to do that. I'm not sure really what I want to do. I miss my making my vlogs and doing fun stuff. I enjoyed the vlogging format where I filmed the puppers and all sorts of stuff. I kind of miss that. Shout out to my patrons. I almost cried when I got a new patron. I was like, oh my gosh, I have a new patron. Some help. Here is to a new year of making videos. Look at that. Auntie is still here. Ah! We are still here. We have been here for two months in a row. Wow. We did not drop off the face of the earth after two videos. 2019 wasn't exactly a dumpster fire. Go figure. I came up with two new story ideas. I tried to edit Beyond the Alluring Sky sequel. Didn't get very far. I started writing in September and haven't stopped since. Like, that's a miracle. Can we just say that's a miracle? September, October, November, December. Four consecutive months of writing. Like, that hasn't been my life in three years. Oh, there's so much I would like to write. There's so much I would like to do. So much I'd like to complete. So many ideas. So many story ideas. So many series. Can we do it? Will 2020 be a great year? We shall see. We shall see. Will 2020 be a dumpster fire? Should we set 2020 on fire? For my last video in 2019, I want to wish you all a happy new year. Here is to a new writing year. Here's to a new good year. Let's not set it on fire. That's probably not advisable. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider giving me a like and subscribe to my channel. I can proudly say I make videos on Mondays and Fridays. My AuthorTube newbie tag comes this Friday. First video of the year. I thought I would do it for the very first video of the year. So until next time, bye. <laughs>